COVID-19 vaccines for Tamariki children aged 5 to 11 are due to roll out on Monday. But for some eager parents, booking a jab isn't proving easy. Anna Bracewell Worrell reports. There's plenty for Tamariki to explore at Tamaki Vaccination Centre. It's prepping to open on Monday so children aged over five can get a COVID-19 vaccination. But not everyone's quite so prepared. Angela Angel's super keen to get six-year-old daughter Madeline vaccinated as soon as possible so she has protection. The pharmacy I rang said that they don't know what day they're going to be ready and her GP can't get her in until Friday so it's still not too clear what day she'll be able to get vaccinated. Other providers not quite ready either. Ngāti Hine up north is still scaling back up and Waipareira Trust is on summer break. The Māori Party says there's been a lack of communication and support from the Ministry of Health. There's been no one on the ground prepared and aligned and synced. There has been no um, support and funding given to make sure that the comms that's required to do this extent of rollout is provided. Walk-in and drive through clinics may be the best shot for parents wanting to get kids their vaccine as soon as possible. But not all parents are keen. A Horizon survey in October found 68% of those who care for 5 to 11-year-olds would allow them to get a COVID-19 vaccine. It was lower for Māori at 57%. Mixed attitudes at Auckland's Mission Bay. I'm just not prepared to give it to my kids just yet. Yeah, wait, wait and see. Overall, the risk of not having it is much worse than the risk of having it. I think it's a fantastic idea. But kids who contract COVID are at risk of severe outcomes, including heart inflammation and neurological problems. Vaccinating helps prevent that. We know those effects on COVID on 5 to 11 year olds aren't always guaranteed to be mild, especially for those children that are more vulnerable. The Ministry of Health told NewSub the vaccine will be available around the country from Monday, but that the number of locations on offer will increase over the coming weeks as providers return from summer break. Anna Bracewell-Worrell, NewSub.